several days to figure out what happened to Michael, but only a few hours to raise thousands to boost a reward for information. Yeah, and tonight money is still coming in. Last check, more than $60,000. As Brad Underwood explains, that money will impact the Moeller community for years to come. As new information sheds light on what happened to Michael Curran, donations continue to come in, ensuring his name will forever be attached to Moeller High School. Moeller is a very special school. The kids there are brothers for life, and when something happens to any one of them, it affects everybody. Missy McCoola's son, Cam, and Curran went to Moeller and All Saints together. They played golf together, too. Hours after she launched the GoFundMe to help beef up a reward for information, more than $8,000 was raised. I thought that if it were my son that I would want to find out who did this and you know bring them to justice. And I started with a goal of $2,000 and that was the only goal. And now it's I just checked 50000 and something. 5000 will still go to Crime Stoppers. The rest to the Michael Curran Memorial Fund at Moeller where the current family will eventually decide how to use it. I had no idea or intention of anything like this happening. It's, it's amazing. I'm so happy, so grateful. The fundraising campaign is called Keep Going. The last words Curran's father, Joe, told him 10 years ago when the two were running. Moments later, Joe Curran died after suffering a heart attack. Curran's father is also a Moeller grad. Michael spoke about that in this video provided by Moeller. Being able to walk down these, the same halls as him, uh, have some of the same teachers, um, play for the same coach that he had. It's everything that I could have ever asked for. Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. And detectives will meet with prosecutors for potential charges.